that's good. Hang them on that branch there. Here you go, Princess. Here's one for you. Thank you, Grandfather. You're welcome. Hang it on that window side over there. Tree's got an ugly spot. Now, has everyone had a chance to put an ornament on the tree? Yes. Good, good. I want to thank you all for being so kind to spend Christmas Day with me. In a little while, I've got a big surprise for you. But I wonder what we should do till then. Tell us a Christmas story, Grandfather. Yeah. A Christmas story? Oh, okay, settle down. Hmm. I got it. I'll tell you a very special story about a very special someone, my friend Snowbird. It was just a few days before Christmas, and everyone at Channel 4 was looking forward to the, to the holidays and the big Christmas party. Hmm. Looks like we've got a heavy winter-type front coming our way. Temperature dropping, cold front moving in. I'll have to run all this by my old buddy Bill Hall, but it looks like we're in for some snow. Just in time for a white Christmas. That would be nice. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Boom, 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 boom. Like hey, Snowbird. Oh, hi, Myron. Hey, have you got a radio on in here or something? I just heard this awful racket that sounded like a warped record of Bean Crosby singing White Christmas. Warped record, huh? Yeah. Hey, Bird, you ought to check out the studio. The guys are putting up the tree and decorations for the Christmas party. I'll look in a minute, Myron. I've got to finish things here and then check at the front desk for messages. Hello, Channel 4, WSMV. No, sir, there's nothing wrong with your color TV. That's Charlie Mack's new sports coat. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh-huh, goodbye. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, I said, there's a tree in the Grand Hotel. What a... Oh, hi there, Snowbird. My little Eskimo pie. Uh, hi, Phoebe. Hi. Any messages for me, Phoebe? Just one, Loverbird. When are we going out, hmm? <laughs> well, uh... Ah! Hey, Snowbird, I've got a great new idea. Well, Myron, I've got to get to my office. Hey, I could be the new rat receptionist. <laughs> hey, I could do a better job than that hippo. Oh boy, what an obstacle course! Ah, one of these days I've got to give me a four real office. Now to look into my little lunchbox surprise. Well, nothing yet. Maybe my peanut butter and sardine sandwiches will stop disappearing now. Hey, Snowbird, you got to be like Kung Fu Warrior to get in this office these days. Hey, Homer, what's going on? I came to take you to the studio. The guys are putting up the tree for the Christmas party, and they want your expert penguin. Ah. Well, uh, okay, I've got time to do that. Okay, you go ahead, Snowbird. I'll be there in a minute. I need to borrow your, uh, fish scaler. Yeah, oh, fish okay. Scaler. Hmm. What do we have here today? Ah, oh, thanks, Dan. Sure, Snowbird. It's the least I can do. Yeah! Ah, what was that? I don't know. Hmm. Heave ho! Heave ho! This is the nicest Christmas tree we've ever had. Put some backbone into it, you guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there. How's it look, Crazy Larry? Straight as an arrow. Uh, can I come down now, Quincy? Sure. Come on down. Uh, uh, wow. You didn't have to come down that fast. Hey, why are you on the floor? Tighten the Christmas tree stand, will you? 
Hey, everybody. Oh, hey. hi, Snowbird. Oh, wow, the tree looks great. Yeah. Doesn't it, though? <coughs> hey, this tree's all set. Hey, how about these presents? This is going to be a great Christmas. Yeah. It's gonna be all Christmas, right, all right. What's going on here? Well, I'm a TV director, and this is a TV studio. Oh, hi, Stalin. What are you doing in such a good mood? <laughs> oh, I should have known you were behind all this fun, Snowbird. But, Stalin, we're just getting ready for that Christmas party. Now, look here. We've got things to do. You can all do this later, OK? Oh, one oh. meal. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 you think maybe Stalin will get a personality for Christmas? <laughs> hey, hey, Bird, so how you doing, huh? Oh, hi, Homer. How are you? Oh, OK, look, I was in your office just uh, straightening things up when my hand accidentally slipped into your lunch pail. And uh, there was this truly horrible mousetrap in there. Huh. Fortunately, I was uh, able to disarm it, but uh, what kind of jerk would put a mousetrap in your lunchbox? Hmm? Uh, gee, Homer, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, you do that, Bird. Yeah, check you later. So Snowbird and his Channel 4 friends were excited about their upcoming Christmas party, but something was about to happen that would change all that. It started at Snowbird's little igloo home. Looks like he's not home. Hmm, what's this on the mailbox? Dear mailman, please forward all my mail to Channel 4 in Nashville for the winter. Thanks, Snowbird. Oh, oh Snowbird, I've got to find you. I need your help. Yeah, Bird, you should see it. We got the tree decorated and everything. Too nice. Altogether, too nice. Sounds <laughs> great, guys. Can't wait for the party. Wow, guys. Look at this. Yeah, it'll be wonderful. Just take a vacation and don't worry about a thing. I'll be green as a news anchor, Don. No, that's Dan. Yeah, oh, well, whatever. Uh, just listen to this. Good evening. I'm Myron Miller. Tonight, we've got lots of news. Well, what do you think, Don? I think the next time I go to the grocery store, I need to pick up some uh, rat poison. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that Myron's some kind of hot dog, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I can imagine a news anchor with big red ears. <laughs> yeah, true, Bird, but you know, the big ears didn't stop Mickey or Dumbo or... Oh! Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I'll be wonderful as a co-anchor. Just take a vacation and let old Myron do it. Demetria baby? Demetria baby? Mm-hmm. Don't worry about a thing. I've got lots of experience. You've got the biggest nose for news I've ever seen. <sighs> Very funny. Yes, Mr. Harney, I understand that. Right? Right. 4,000 Christmas tree lights. That's what I ordered. You sent me 4,000 black and orange lights. Yes, Willie, we'd love to have you on the show. Starts at 5.30 in the morning. What time do we rehearse? Uh... Okay, now let's get all the ideas together for the magazine Christmas show. We want to make it great. Yeah, because yeah, I want to okay. have an a angel on top oh, of the tree. Oh, we need fruitcakes. Sure fruitcakes. Well, fruitcakes. Angel, that'd be good. So fruitcakes, maybe some what? nutmeg. Ooh. Ah! Uh, I'm afraid you're a little late for Halloween. Snowbird. What? Do I know you? Uh, Santa! Hey, Santa, this is great. How are you? Hey, wait a minute. Why the disguise, Santa? And what are you doing here? It's only a few days until Christmas. I'm afraid there may be no Christmas, Snowbird. 
What? No, Christmas! I came for your help. You see, all of my elves are very sick. Oh, no, Santa! They'll be well again soon, but not soon enough. My elves got most of the presents made, but became sick before they could finish oh. all of them. Just think how sad Christmas morning will be when some children get a present and others don't. That, that's awful, Santa. And on top of that, I'm losing my Christmas spirit. What? But you can't. You're Santa Claus. How can I have any Christmas spirit when I know how sad the children will be? What can I do, Snowbird? What can I do? Christmas just won't be the same without the joy of good girls and boys without the smiles on each face christmas just won't be the same of Christmas past. And each Christmas you never get enough purity eggnog and boiled custard for family and friends. You weenie. Hey, Vern, wake up. It's Christmas morning. Merry Christmas, Vern. Vern, do you have a fire extinguisher? Is it a 911 or a 411? I know, you're saying, there's old Dean, and he's going to talk about sausage again. Wrong. I'm going to talk about chicken, I'm going to talk about steak, and I'm going to talk about biscuits. Now, you like Jimmy Dean sausage biscuits, right? So we took a tender piece of steak and a nice southern fried piece of chicken, and we put that in a biscuit. It's good for breakfast in the morning or a late night snack or any time in between. Jimmy Dean chicken biscuit, Jimmy Dean steak biscuits. You already know about sausage. This is Carrie at Office Furniture Warehouse. We've been serving Nashville now for over six years with low prices on top quality office furniture. We've grown because of you, our customers, who've put your faith in us. As our way of saying thanks, we've got some extra special deals for you in our summer fall catalog. It's full of desks, chairs, files, everything for your office. If you haven't received it in the mail, call us and we'll send you one. For the best prices in town on office furniture, look for our summer fall catalog and stop by either location of Office Furniture Warehouse. Gee, that Christmas without presents for all my little buddies. That Christmas without smiles. And worst of all, Santa Claus without his Christmas spirit. This is one Christmas I'm not looking forward to. Oh, hi, Santa. Where have you been? Oh, hi, Snowbird. I've just been wandering around the station. 
thinking about what I can do. I'm sorry, Santa. I know you came to me for help, but I don't know what to do either. I only need a few presents, so then all of the children will get one. Hey, I've got an idea. Good evening, everyone. I'm Teddy Bart. Tonight, you're going to meet a man who has an incredible story to tell. One hey, of the things that what I'm do you think about Myron the Rat's Nashville? For you to tell exactly Don't make what's me been laugh, happening in your mouse. life. So that we can fully tell all these things to the people and get across exactly what you've done. Will that be all right? Hey, hey, everybody, come here. I've got something to tell you. Over here, everybody. Come here, over here. What's so important, my little marshmallow? Oh, what's going on here? I'm trying to direct the show. I've got something to tell everybody. But first, I want you all to meet a good friend of mine. Hello, everybody. Sam is here because he needs our help. His elves are sick and can't finish all of the children's presents in time for Christmas. Oh, oh no. no. What can we do to help? Well, I thought we could let him have the presents we were going to give each other at our Christmas party. <laughs> then he would have enough to give to all the kids. Snowbird, that's a wonderful idea. But I couldn't ask all your friends to do that. Oh, sure, Santa, we'll be happy to. Right, everybody? But, uh, you know, Bird, we were looking forward to uh, getting our presents, you know. Oh, come on, everybody. It's Christmas. No, Snowbird, that's all right. They're entitled to their own presents. No, I'll just return to the North Pole and try to think of something else. Thanks for trying. Santa came to us for help, and you let him down. We all got so excited about our Christmas party that we forgot one thing. Christmas isn't getting, it's giving. Gee. All of a sudden, I don't feel so good. I think we were all, well, a little selfish. <gasps> I feel rotten. Yeah. You know, I feel pretty rotten about it, too. Hey, come on, guys. I've got feelings, too, you know. Used to be I couldn't wait until Christmas was here. Now I wish it were all over. I guess nothing would surprise me now. Oh, brother. Yeah, Charlie Mac, my middle name is Sports. Mm -hmm. You can take a little break from the old sports beat and let me handle things. I'll be wonderful. Well, Myron, you know, there's a lot to covering sports, and honestly, I don't think you can handle anything like this. Handle it? Get back, Charlie Mac. I can handle it. I know everything about sports. Just check out my football tackle. Wow! Oh. If only I had someone to talk to. Someone who would listen to me and help me help Santa. Wait a minute. I know. So that's everything that's happened. You can see that I've got a real problem on my wings here, Bill. Yes, yeah, Snowbird, I see what you mean. Santa's losing his Christmas spirit because of the kids who are going to be disappointed. And with my friends letting me down, I don't know what to do. Well, you know, Snowbird, even if there were no presents at all, there would still be a Christmas. Huh? What do you mean? Well, as long as people think enough of others to want to give them something, then there will always be a Christmas. Yeah. Santa hasn't lost the Christmas spirit, and he never will, as long as he cares and wants to make children happy. I get it, Bill. The present itself isn't important. Caring is what really counts. Right, Snowbird, and it sounds to me like Santa still has the Christmas spirit. Yeah, Bill, old buddy, I'll tell him. Thanks, Bill. Oh, Merry Christmas, Bill. Merry Christmas, Snowbird. So you see, Santa, just like Bill said, you haven't lost your Christmas spirit at all. Hmm, you and Bill are right, Snowbird. I do still have my Christmas spirit. Uh, if you've got to be going now, I'll walk you out. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, Snowbird? Santa? We've been thinking about things. We decided to give our Christmas presents for the children. Oh, thank you. Thank you all. Thanks, guys. Hey, you guys, check it mm -hmm. out. Look, check this out. Oh. Bill Hall and all the guys from down the station have given their presents, too, to help send his kids. Oh, wow. Right. Hey, so now all my children will get presents. Oh, all right, everybody. It's Christmas again. again and the stars up above seem to pour down their light with the brightness of love look around i think you'll agree everything's just like it should be so we'll join the jingle chorus Again, and I've loaded my sleigh with a bag of delights. Soon I'll be on my way. All the gifts are under the tree. Everything's just like it should be. So I'll go. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. Yeah. It's like Christmas once again. Christmas again, and the snow's coming down, making blanket of white all over the town. So we with the air, with the sound, enjoy this like Christmas once again. We're all laughing with our friends, just like Christmas The last time you ran a bank was probably the last time you played Monopoly. Here's the next best thing. Teachers and other employee groups can have a piece of their very own financial institution when they